Hi everyone, it's Eileen here, back again for another video. It's been a while since I caught up with you guys because as some of you may know, um, you know, for those of you that follow me on Instagram, you may have noticed that I recently took a trip to Hawaii. And yeah, I spent three beautiful weeks in Hawaii. It was literally amazing and life-changing for me because going to Hawaii personally was one of my one of my biggest long-term goals. I remember ever since I was like about 10 years old, um, I always dreamed of going to Hawaii and even living in Hawaii. Reason being because ever since I was very young, I've always been attracted to the ocean, to mountains, to nature, to um, even the culture, the Hawaiian culture. Everything about Hawaii just screamed to me like, Eileen, you must go there, you know, like like I felt a sense of belonging and home and I was so nervous before going on this trip because I was like oh my god what if I had like just conjured all this up in my mind for several years and you know like made it bigger than it actually was but you know that fear was you know it was nonsense because when I actually went there I experienced that very same feeling that feeling of belonging and home and yeah, like now that I've returned back from my trip, it's just been like, you know, it's kind of like revved up this fire within me. Like, okay, I have to make this goal happen, this dream happen to live there. And uh, one of the most amazing things I experienced in Hawaii was really the clarity, just clarity all around. Clarity in the air. The air was so clean, much cleaner compared to Florida here. And um, it was just, I... I guess you could say the cleanest air I've ever breathed in my entire life. Um, whereas before, like even on a pristine diet, my sinuses would always kind of like act up sometimes. Over there, completely gone, all the sinus issues. And you see how like with detoxification, there are some things that you can control with diet and clean up and clean up, but if you remain in a very toxic environment, like the way I feel in Florida, how the air is so thick with humidity, and um, of course, there's probably some pollutants that my body's not liking, right? Um, there's only so much that you can do in terms of cleaning your body, but that's not to say that you shouldn't try, right? But really, detoxification is all about doing better for yourself placing yourself in a better situation altogether. So that's like cleaning up your entire life, cleaning up your relationships, cleaning up your career, cleaning up um, the toxins within your home, cleaning up your diet, cleaning up wherever it is that you call home, right? So it's always about what's the next best thing for me and always striving to be as close to nature as possible. So this dream of mine has been in the making like I guess for the last 20 years now. And um, yeah, now that's like my, my dream is to be able to just go to the ocean and snorkel every single day because even with the air, the water was just so pristine and clear. And you know, I really wanna be one of those people that um, you know, I'm an educator for for detoxification and I promote health of the human body but I so so had this longing of taking care of the oceans and cleaning up the oceans and taking care of marine life too that's something that's been another one of my callings ever since I was a young girl and when I went over there in Hawaii me and my husband Gabriel we you know we took it upon ourselves so whenever we saw trash on any of the beaches or on the sand or in the ocean we cleaned it all up and we filled up like these huge bags full of trash and mostly due to fishing sadly we saw so many fishing lines uh, being caught up in all the rocks and everything so we cleaned all that up so I just feel like you know, that is my ultimate goal and um, that's where my soul is calling me to go. So hopefully we can make that happen. And, um, and then I feel like I'll be able to show up more for you guys because you know, when I'm living in alignment and when I'm happy and, I'm, when I'm, and when I'm passionate, I'm able to show up more and more fully and be more articulate and be more in my power to share the information about detoxification, you know? So yeah, that's what I foresee in the, in the near future, hopefully. And that's what I encourage all of you to do, you know? 
even though I had this goal of mine ever since I was 10 years old and then when I was 20 and then when I was 25 and it hadn't happened yet you know I never gave up I never gave up and I never um, you know, of course, our ego, our ego mind makes us compare ourselves to other people like, oh, look at that person. They're achieving more than I am. But, you know, everything happens in due time when it's supposed to happen. Right. And so for us, it was meant to happen right here, right now. Um, and yeah, that's why I encourage all of you never give up hope. Keep on, you know, with your focus your laser like focus on your goals and you will be able to achieve them you know even though a drop of water that consistently hits a rock doesn't all of a sudden go through and make an impact on that rock over time with that focus then that rock starts to become chiseled by that drop of water you see what I'm saying so that's what that's what it takes most of the time to achieve any type of goal in life okay whether that's health whether that's a personal goal uh, whether that's relationship a career goal anything like that a spiritual goal especially so yeah i just wanted to kind of like catch up with you guys because it's been a while since i you know shared anything with you all and um i know some of you like to hear about my personal stuff sometimes so Without further ado, I'm going to make this into a Q&A video and um, I'm gonna like try out something new. I'm going to, instead of focusing on a lot of different questions, I'm going to focus on one question more in depth. And uh, I guess you could call it a Q&A video, but it is also like a topic video. So I'm gonna just try different things out now, okay? So I hope you're all doing really well though. Um, as you can see, I have some watermelon juice Watermelons are coming into season now, which I'm really excited about because watermelon happens to be my favorite fruit of all time. I, besides cacao fruit, I love cacao fruit, but a uh, watermelon uh, holds a special place up in my top three fruits. And this is because watermelons are just highly alkalizing, hydrating to the interstitial fluids in the body, and very, very much so helps clean out the colon as well cleans out the colon of uh, toxic impactions that we have have seeded in there over the years and just flushes the body of a lot of inflammation um, and especially gets rid of chemical toxicity too, especially from the gut and the colon, like sulfur from antibiotics or sulfur drug medications or, you know, body care products or anything like that. Uh, well water, you know, wherever you've been exposed to sulfur from. But yeah, I just love watermelon. And um, now that fruits are coming into season if any of you guys want to deepen your detoxification experience or even start your detox journey now is the time to do it we are in may we should take advantage of these next few months may june july august september even october that is a good chunk of time where multiple fruits are in season now so we're going to be getting grapes soon oranges are still kind of around um apples are always around but watermelons are going to be fantastic so watermelons and grapes they are the top two fruits for detoxification remember fruits are more cleansers of the body and greens and vegetables are more builders of the body so we kind of tend to focus more on greens and vegetables during the winter time because fruits aren't as easily available but during the summertime and springtime you need to take advantage of the cleansing properties of fruits now more than ever you know today's day and age can be kind of scary a lot of fear going around right with the current virus the pandemic restrictions <laughs> differing views from family members and friends what the future holds, um, vaccinations that they're trying to push on us. It is a fearful time, but don't let that fear grab you. Take control, take your power back even during this time. So this time is a good test for us all, right? It's kind of like what we've been training for. Remember, Earth is like a training ground. No one ever said it was gonna be easy. Of course, you want life to be as pleasant as possible, but it's really during the dark times, during the tough times that we can show ourselves what we're made of, right? So that's what I'm telling people. That's what I tell everyone. Now more than ever, you have to stand strong. You have to stand in your power. You have to raise your voice. 
You have to become your own authority figure on your own body. Say, this is my body. No one can do anything to my body without my consent, right? And since this is a channel of health, of course, you know, I've told you guys time and time again, sprinkled them all through the videos over the years, how we have seen harmful effects come about through vaccinations. And this vaccination in particular shouldn't even be called a vaccination because it's something of a whole different level. It's a whole nother ball game in what they created, you know, very scary stuff. DNA changing type of stuff. And this is not something that I see or that I know of because it's brand new to me, this type of vaccination. I'm not sure if that's something that can be detoxed out of the body. I do not know, okay? So it's better to not take it. That's my own opinion though. And a lot of you guys come to me and ask me these questions. You guys ask me, Eileen, what should I do about the virus? Should I be afraid? What can I do to protect myself from it, right? Our last video covered the topic of viruses. Not something to be feared. You just have to clean the terrain of your body and viruses will not take a hold of you. If you are consuming raw foods and fruits and your kidneys are filtering and you're getting all that elimination out through your colon, then you don't have to fear the virus. No, if you are someone, when you look at your eyes, you see a lot of cellular weaknesses, then you know, you absolutely know, you need the assistance of the herbs to start restructuring and rebuilding the cells again, because that's what viruses do. They take a hold of and attach to cells. If the cell is putting out the message, oh, I'm very weak, I'm very weak. Come on, immune system, take care of this situation. Viruses are gonna go there. Remember, they are like antigens. Foreign antigens, not antigens created by the cell for cellular destruction because they're both, but they're an antigen nonetheless, which means it can be detoxed out of the body. And in reality, us as human beings, we're exposed to viruses all day long, 24 seven. They go in and they go out. They stay inside the body of people with congested lymphatic systems, of compromised immune systems. But in the end, at the end of the day, every health problem, or 99% of them, you know, that wasn't caused by like, um, you know, um, like a car accident or something, right? 99% of them are self-created just by the choices that we make every single day. Or some of them, are created through genetics, through the choices of our parents and their parents before them. Because cells hold memory, they hold consciousness. So based on the eating patterns that your parents and grandparents had, then the cell itself gives off that message of, hmm, I'm a very weak cell. I remember, I remember when the cells before me consume dairy products and processed foods, chemicals of all kinds, a lot of acidic meats and proteins, right? But the beautiful thing about it is that we can change cellular memory. We can change genetics. If you go up into the raw food level high enough and fruit level and fasting level, eventually, your body becomes so alkaline interstitially in its lymph system and so clean that the cells can repair themselves, okay? So, and this, is, this comes and ties to this case that I'll be discussing with you today, or this question rather, but you know, this question is kind of like a case. I see every question that you guys submit as a, as a case for me to crack, you know? So I know I kind of went on a tangent there, but I think that it's very relevant to, to today's times, right? And it's just a question that I get asked a lot. And now you guys know my stance on it. But, you know, if we want to keep this detox community alive, to spread knowledge, to spread hope to others, we do have to be uh, discerning in how we say things 
and when we share things, right? So I always think of the bigger picture. What can help people the long run, the long term? More so than day to day, I like to focus on the big picture. The same thing goes for detox. Enjoy the journey, right? Don't focus on the negative. Enjoy being in the now while also feeling grateful for the positive future that awaits you, right? So I'm going to take a sip of my, orange, of, of my watermelon juice. And here we go. I hope that message uh, resonated with with all of you but this question is my son is 36 years old and diagnosed with congenital lymphedema when he was one year old one years old the lymphatic system didn't develop properly while in the womb so he is missing a lot of lymph nodes in the legs his legs look like he has elephant man syndrome he develops cellulitis a couple times a year, at least once a year, and he is hospitalized and given strong antibiotics every time. He has suffered this with this his whole life. Do you have any advice for him? Thank you so much. I want to thank you for this video because I have suffered with constipation and gallbladder and digestive issues for two years. It has been crippling. I am so grateful for the info you put out here for us who want to heal our bodies naturally. Thank you. Okay, so thank you for your question. And uh, yeah, no problem. I was really happy to have made that that uh, previous Q&A video where I went in depth uh, discussing liver, gallbladder issues and constipation issues. I personally suffer from chronic constipation issues for I would say all of my life. So I have a lot of experience in healing from it myself but also helping others heal from it and i would say you know i would really urge both of you both you and your son to take on to the detoxification path and wear the detox robe together and support each other so many of our clients and, and my clients personally it's like a duo it's either husband and wife or mother and son, mother and daughter, and that's when you're the most successful, is either you're going at it alone, it's a solo journey, those people are very successful, or you have some sort of support system where you both are detoxing together. So since your son has this um, chronic genetic health condition, then detox for yourself but also detox to set a good example for your son i don't know how open-minded your son is on you know consuming raw foods and detoxifying himself but he absolutely must detox himself before this situation gets worse because you know with lymphedema or some anything that's congenital and genetic stemming from you know, ever since he was born. This is very serious stuff. Now, lymphedema, for those of you that do not know, is what occurs when the lymphatic system backs up in its sewage. Now, sometimes this occurs due to the removal of lymph nodes. You know how medical doctors like to remove your lymph nodes if you have cancer or for the prevention of cancer, they just love to take all those lymph nodes out. But that sets you up for disaster because our lymph system is so essential. It's so essential in the health of our bodies. If you start removing lymph nodes, you literally start to remove the septic tanks that clean all the cells of your body. You start to remove the septic tanks that give your body a fighting chance to clean the blood, to clean the lymph system, to rid itself of foreign particles, foreign proteins, foreign invaders and toxins and cellular waste, acids and pollutants, chemicals, and the list goes on. So you absolutely must always keep your lymph nodes, always protect your lymph nodes. Understand, anyone that's watching this video, understand 
that every organ, every lymph node in your body has been put there for a reason and has an important function. So you have to protect those. Medical doctors do not understand the lymphatic system. And this is what this entire channel is about, is the refocusing, the putting the spotlight back on the lymphatic system. That is the system. If that is down, you get a disease. If that is nice and smooth and flowing and running properly, you gain vitality, All right? So sorry if I'm getting a little, you know, a little, how do you say? I don't even know. I was gonna say spicy, but <laughs> it's much needed right now. You may be sensing that I'm a bit frustrated at what the world is coming to, but this is why we have to stand together strong and voice the truth. No more, you know, tiptoeing around the truth. You have to go at it strong. So yeah, lymphedema can occur from the removal of lymph nodes but it can also occur if lymph nodes have become damaged or lymph nodes have become hardened or swollen or lymph nodes are just not present from birth as we see in this case it can also occur if lymph vessels have been removed now lymphedema is just a name that medical doctors gave a certain set of symptoms and a certain like certain set of situations certain causes and effects right but at the end of the day throw away that disease name called lymphedema because the more you attach and identify to that the more your cells will say oh we have lymphedema this thing called lymphedema we're going to continue to stay in that familiar disease condition so throw that word away. Instead, place the cause, the root cause within your description of what you have, okay? So if it's your son watching, if it's you watching, if it's anyone else watching out there that has lymphedema, then focus on the root cause. We're gonna get into the root cause, but lymphedema from a medical standpoint, that's what they call lymphedema. What I call lymphedema, lymphedema can occur from many different things. So stagnant lymph system due to toxicity from the diet, you know, anything that's mucus forming or stagnant to the lymphatic system, animal products, dairy, cheese, yogurt, bread, gluten, processed foods, chemicals, pollutants, anything that disrupts and stagnates the lymphatic system, right? Chemical drugs also do that. Now, another thing is kidney weakness. If your kidneys are not filtering this lymphatic system and removing these wastes, then guess what? Once the lymph system backs up and fails to filter the blood and fails to filter the waste from the cells, sending them to the lymph nodes, then lymphedema occurs. Let's talk about the symptoms of lymphedema. Lymphedema can mostly generally be in the upper extremities or the lower extremities. In this case, you said that it's his legs, okay? So, swelling occurs, burning, tightness, difficulty moving that region of the body, whether it's your leg or your arm. And I've seen lymphedema really bad in people. I've seen just one leg just swell up to like the size of an elephant. In those situations, if it wasn't due to just not having lymph nodes and lymph vessels, that situation is usually tumor related or kidney weakness, kidney failure related. A lot of people that are suffering from kidney failure or kidney weakness experience edema or lymphedema in their body. So in this case, it is congenital. But remember what we said before, Genetic can be reversed because scientific evidence, actually, this is not me, this is the science that says this, is that if you consume acidic chemistry, the DNA in your cells changes 
and the cells themselves start to change, start to morph. And when that occurs, the immune response is to get rid of this cell, destroy this cell before it becomes a cancer cell. That's what cancer is, all right? So going back to this, the same logic can be applied if you consume alkaline chemistry, alkaline foods. Alkaline foods can go in and restructure and rebuild the cell, right? It's all about cause and effect. Anything that you do in your life has an effect on your life. Any chemistry you consume, the food that you consume, the drinks that you drink, right? The stuff that you put on your skin every day, the thoughts that you think, the air that you breathe, all of that is chemistry. That's what's called chemistry when I say um, acid chemistry or alkaline chemistry, that's what I'm referring to. So your son has a good chance at, I would say, healing himself from these symptoms, but it's going to be up to him. He's going to have to take his power back. He's going to have to let go of that self-identification of him having this disease because I know it's been a long time. It's been 35, 36 years of him suffering with this, but I gotta say, if he doesn't do something about it, worse things can happen. As acids are festering in this interstitial fluid, which is our lymphatic system, they are surrounding the cells. Acids are chewing on the cells. They're destroying the cells, okay? What results in that? The next stage of, you know, cellulitis, the next stage of lymphedema comes cancer of the soft tissue. The next setup is kidney failure. If your lymph system is not filtering, that means all the other organs are not being filtered. If you're not filtering from your lymphatic system, acids and wastes and sewage and chemical deposits build up around all the organisms. You can think of each cell in your body as an organism, as a single cell organism that make up the whole of who you are. But health starts at the microscopic level, at the micro level, and it expands into the macro level, which is your body, right? Similarly to, I guess you could say how vast the universe is, is if you take one individual, one human being, at the macro level, it's an entire human population. At another larger level, it's the earth. Another larger level is the solar system, the galaxy, the universe, right? But they're all one in the same. They're all just fragments. So it starts off right there in the smallest compound. And that small compound, whatever is occurring at that small compound, that small level, impacts the rest, okay? I know I'm getting kind of metaphysical with you guys, but that's really how it is. Thinking about it in that way is very beneficial, helping you understand, okay? So he must take control of this. What do I recommend? I recommend understanding what the lymphatic system is. Your lymphatic system is made up of lymph vessels and lymph nodes and lymphatic organs like the spleen, the thymus gland, the tonsils, the appendix, all of those are extremely important, play an extremely important role in the lymphatic system and the immune system itself. So this is how it works. And if you guys are new to detoxification, go to my website, read all the articles that I've written on lymphatic system, on several different diseases, how to heal from diseases, how to take your power back, understanding the role of the kidneys, understanding what diet, what herbs to take, what detox tools to use, all that on this YouTube channel and on the website and Instagram. All that information is there for you guys, okay? But I'll explain it again in this video. <laughs> the lymph vessels are similar to your vascular system, 
but the lymphatic system does not have a pump like the blood does with the heart. The lymph relies on your diet to pump the lymph system with the astringency of the fruits, with the astringency of the raw foods, with the hydration. Because the lymph system, you know, the fluid, the interstitial fluid that runs through the lymphatic vessels is very thick, very lipid based, very fatty based. So it needs astringency from fruits, astringency, the pulling factor from fruits to keep it moving, to keep it pumping. Another thing that moves this lymph system, keeps it draining, is manipulation through exercise, through moving your skeletal muscles or your smooth muscles, manipulation with massage or exercise. But with detoxification, people have become so acidic and so rock hard inside that it's even showing on the outside that you don't want to create more acids unnecessarily through exercise. You do not want to all of a sudden start to pump your lymph system very aggressively through deep tissue massage. You don't want to do that because your channels of elimination can only handle so much acidosis being thrown at it. Your body can only handle so much acidosis being created day to day. So the best way to detox is to cool down, relax, unwind, cool everything down for a few months, for a year, I would say, and just focus on hydration, hydration, alkalinity, because you're battling 36 years right here, 36 years, I'm assuming, you know, of cooked foods, of acid forming foods, of maybe not being fully aware of the chemicals or avoiding chemicals or avoiding uh, cancer causing agents, things like that in your day to day life. Okay, this is commonly found in cleaning supplies around your house, detergents, in sitting in traffic, being exposed to uh, car exhaust, you know, so many different things that we don't really think about. And now you're going into detoxification to clean all of that out. You don't want to be too aggressive when you first start. You want to be intelligent. I always say, and this is very apparent when I look at your eyes, when I look at, you know, your eyes through iridology, if you have a lot of lymphatic stagnation, a lot of lymph node um, congestion backing up in your eyes, I can see all those and the conditions of your organs and glands and systems in your eyes I can see everything. I can see if you should take a slower approach or you can afford to take um, not necessarily aggressive, but you can go faster than someone with a lot of stagnation, right? The problem that people run into or some people run into is that they get very eager, very excited to detox, but they jump from a standard American diet, which is highly inflammatory to fasting <laughs> without giving themselves a few weeks or a few months to explore transitioning their diet to more raw foods and more fruits. Because if you jump from one extreme to the next, you're going to experience a lot of detox symptoms. All right. So for this case, like you said, he has been hospitalized at least once a year, every year and given strong antibiotics. What are antibiotics? Sulfur, sulfur drugs, sulfur as an extreme suppressant to the lymphatic system. So he's been suppressing his lymph system every year, every year. In that vicious cycle, what happens with sulfur and antibiotics, you give the person the antibiotic, okay, their symptoms go away. Everything seems to go away for a while, right? The symptoms become suppressed. Why is that? But then they eventually come back and then you're stuck in that cycle of taking antibiotics and you're like, okay, what's going on? What's wrong? 
How do I get this? How do I fully heal this? How do I cure the root cause? Well, we have to ask ourselves, what is the effect that antibiotics and sulfur drugs, what is the effect that occurs in the body? This is what I've seen from my years of helping people heal and through my training, through my experience. Sulfur is a major lymphatic suppressant. Sulfur not only shoves acids and shuts down the lymph system deeper within the tissues of your body, but it also goes to the lymph nodes, specifically the lymph nodes that you do have, and destroys any beneficial bacteria in the lymph nodes, any of the macrophages, any of the lymphocytes, your, your immune system mediators destroys them. What else happens? Sulfur gives rise to fungus. It starts to feed and proliferate the harmful microorganisms in your body, such as fungus. Fungus that then produces more acid, like uric acid. And then you have all of this occurring within your body. Sulfur itself is acidic. Sulfur is a highly acidic gas. Sometimes people have sulfur stuck inside of them for years that's just burning up their cells and tissue. That's why I say sulfur is cancer causing. The more you take antibiotics and sulfur drugs, the more you are going on the way to developing cancer. And then people ask themselves, oh my God, well, I don't know. This cancer condition came out of nowhere. I don't understand. It's because we as human beings have to look at the signs. Your body is constantly communicating with you, constantly, in any little symptom that shows up. Oh, you know, I feel like I'm kind of swollen around here. I feel like I have a sore throat. Mm, why is it that my nose is so runny all the time? Oh, why is my scalp so itchy and red? Why am I getting dandruff? Oh, I feel like I'm kind of like I'm hard of hearing on one side of my ear. Oh, I see my eyes are blurred. I'm seeing floaters. What, what the heck's going on? Oh man, why is it that I get a headache every week just like clockwork? Oh man, why are my periods so severe, Ugh, cramping so much? Why can't I handle fats every time I eat an avocado? Oh, my liver hurts. My stomach hurts so much. Why is it that I have back acne? Oh man, my memory is so foggy. Is that normal? You see all of these symptoms, all of those symptoms our society and human beings have been trained that those are normal things to experience. We chalk them off as like, oh, you're, you must just be getting old. Oh, it must, must be due to stress. Or, oh, just here, take this pill, take this cold and flu medicine, you know? Um, take this um, steroid medication to shove it down. Nope, we, we're not addressing the root cause when we do that. We're just suppressing we need to take the time to slow down, to restructure our lives in a way that's conducive to healing and to resting. Because more often than not, most of us have just been running around like crazy, working nonstop, not taking care of ourselves. And then we wonder why we develop diseases right? So this disease condition that you have here, lymphedema, is very much genetic from your parents and their parents' parts, you know, or whatever your mom ate while she was pregnant. But now we know better. Now we can change. And also, the fact that you haven't been able to heal this and clean your lymph system, because I'll tell you now, with alkalinity, you can regenerate. And I have seen lymphatic pathways. I've seen lymphatic pathways being formed. I've seen lymph nodes being regenerated. I believe because we get clients all the time that a lot of their lymph nodes have been removed. 
yet they're still able to heal. If they're committed and focused, they're still able to heal. So I believe that you can also experience healing. And, uh, you know, even if you don't have most of your lymph nodes or your lymph vessels, at least you have some of them. If you did not have some of them, you'd be dead. <laughs> you'd be dead, okay? So there's something there. Your body still wants you to be a fighter, okay? So reach up high into that raw detox level. And I recommend taking herbs. And I recommend, you know, looking at your eyes. Or if you're not good at reading the eyes or, you know, oftentimes people just don't have the time. It's taken me years and years, decades to learn about detoxification and building the proper protocols for people. Then I always say, work with me, work with us at developing the proper specific herbal protocol that you're going to need to get your, fin their, your kidneys to start to filter, to get your lymph system to start moving at the right steady approach for you to heal this. And I recommend spending at least a year very focused on doing this, okay? So that's the trouble with antibiotics. And doctors like to give antibiotics anytime they see an infection, but they don't understand what infections are. What are infections? Infections are, okay, some bacterial activity is seen within the body. But why is the bacteria lingering there? You see, people don't ask that. But from what I've seen is bacteria and pathogens like that go to and linger inside the body if there is a lot of decaying matter, if there is a lot of cellular waste, Bacteria's action, viral, pathogen action, even parasitic action only thrives within a highly inflamed, acidic, and congested medium because that is what their action is. Their job is to decay, decay cells, decay and consume cellular waste and acidic matter, right? That's what we see. Why is it that flies flock to garbage? It's the same exact thing happening in your body. Is the solution to try and kill the bacteria that's trying to help your body? No, the solution is to work with it. Work with it, okay? Work in a sense of getting rid of why the bacteria is there in the first place. Alkaline, clean, hydrated system, no harmful bacteria, no viruses, no parasites, no pathogens. That's the cause and effect. Now, of course, I am not saying that all medicine is bad. In an emergency situation, it will save your life. But if you are caught in this ring around the rosy merry-go-round going back and back and back to taking medications, then you are in for a wild ride you are in for all of these side effects and the destruction of your body in the long run, okay? So this knowledge is for people that are sick and tired of being sick and tired, <laughs> that are sick of just going to doctors, only being heard half-heartedly, sent on their way with no answers, getting worse, getting side effects from medications and drugs. If you're tired of all that, this is for you. If you are not there yet, like, oh, I'm very fine experiencing this, this life in that way, fine. This information is not for you. But it is for the people that are tired of that, are tired of suffering, tired of being in pain, tired of being and consumed by fear. Yeah, this information is for you. And this information is the information that you have been looking for. I know personally for me, it took me years and years of studying, of searching, of having that thirst for knowledge, of wanting to heal myself and my family and my friends and everyone. It took years before I found this information because this information is the most suppressed and hidden information on health. 
Time and time again, the people that come to me and to us to help them on their healing journey through detoxification protocols and through urology, we are their last string of hope because they have tried everything. That is the journey of most people. Most people start off with trying what's available to them, what they know of. We've been taught, okay, go to the doctor if you're sick. Or for people that are a little bit more open-minded, now we're seeing people go to a naturopath, naturopathic doctor when you're sick. But even they don't have the answers because they're promoting protein diets, which are highly inflammatory. See how detox can go deep into the depths of like very lucky, the lucky and the few find it. The lucky and the focused and motivated people find it. And then once you find it, what do you do with that information? Hmm? Everything that is worth it in this life takes dedication. That's what I have to say. And you have your ups and your downs, ups and downs, ups and downs. We see it all the time. But as long as you are consuming raw foods and fruits and hydrating your body, you are always going to be constantly improving, constantly improving. You're not going to be going backwards. If you go back to cooked foods, animal products and dairy and stressful living, exposure to any toxins, drinking or smoking or drugs or addictive harmful habits, then you will be taking steps backwards, right? So I know I'm kind of taking a serious tone in this video, but it is serious and I really care. I want people to change. I want you guys to live the life of happiness and no suffering and understanding that you have full control. So just take your power back. Make that decision today. Make that choice today is your choice. What are you going to eat next for your next meal? What are you going to do right now to improve your situation? Right? Okay. So I'm going to go back to the question to see if there's anything else for us to discuss. So in terms of herbs, this is what you want to do. What you want to do is you want to focus on the kidneys. If I was developing an herbal protocol for you right now, I don't know your exact weaknesses of how chronic or degenerative, I don't know how bad it is, each organ and gland, right? In your eyes, because I don't have your eyes. But this is a general protocol for someone that has lymphedema or congenital lymphedema. You need to address your kidneys. We go on kidney formulas, kidney number one, kidney number two, liquid, very essential. If you have a chronic or degenerative or genetic kidney weakness, then definitely go on a kidney glandular. I would focus on your endocrine glands. The fact that you have cellulitis, that is an inflammatory condition, itis. That deals with the adrenal glands so you want to perk up your adrenal glands to start producing natural anti-inflammatory steroids to combat this inflammation so an endocrine balance formula or adrenal formula essential you want a lymphatic formula but i would say start off slow since you're missing part of your lymph system start off on lymphatic one lymph node one then if those go good, if you're doing good on those, if the detox is not too aggressive, too unpleasant, you can step it up a notch to lymph node two, lymphatic two. Lymphatic capsules, start to clean out your colon with the lymphatic capsules. The herbs in the dry form and the capsules really help clean out the colon. The liquid tinctures are more tonifiers. Start to clean the blood and the lymph system and the lymph nodes. Start that regeneration process because herbs have consciousness. Herbs have memory. Herbs go to specific tissues to start to regenerate. That's how they work. But just taking the herbs alone will not heal you. You can see some improvements, but a tiny, tiny percentage. You need to incorporate the diet as well. You need to stop doing or adding to that acidic burden on your cells in order for the herbs to work. Okay? 
if you take anything from this, the diet is number one. You need to get on the right diet, right? Raw foods, mostly fruits. I'd say 80% fruits. You want the raw diet to be mostly fruits. You want to avoid protein foods that are highly inflammatory. Protein foods are inflammatory, okay? That means because some people, their raw diets are full of nuts, full of seeds, full of fats. Those are great for building your body after detox. But during detox, you want to have those in small amounts and eventually you want to get rid of them for certain periods during your detox to cleanse deeper. And then you can add them back in to rebuild a little bit to find your grounding and then go back and dig deeper. You see, detox is an art. Detox is a science. Detox is a journey. Detox is listening to your body, your intuition. What is your body showing you? What is your body telling you, right? And for, you know, the more scientific aspect, working with an experienced, knowledgeable detox specialist that cares, that truly cares for human beings and knows what they're doing, yeah, that's where you want the science part of it to set up your protocol, to see if you're on the right path, make sure you're doing enough, make sure you're not hitting it too hard, but you're hitting it hard enough. Finding that sweet middle is essential, right? So those are the herbs. On top of that, a bowel formula, GI Renew, depending on how many bowel movements you have. When you start consuming the raw diet, you could either start going fantastically all going great and finally not constipated anymore or some people become very constipated because you're taking away the meat and the stimulants your adrenals are kind of lazy they're not producing um you know the neurotransmitters to inspire peristalsis in your colon so you can become backed up so for those people you need a stronger bowel formula number one number two number three number four number five number zero it just depends on your bowel movements and how many you're having right now and beyond that, spleen formula. The spleen cleans the blood through the lymph system. The spleen produces lymphocytes. You're having problems with your immune system, but your immune system is your lymphatic system. Your lymphatic system is your immune system. They're not separated, they work together. Because within the lymphatic vessels and within that interstitial lymph fluid, that is what's carried to the cells to feed the cells, to engage the cells in immune response if the cells need it, and to carry away waste, right? The carrying away waste and the immune response, that deals with the immune system, right? But the feeding of the cells, that deals with the blood. The blood feeds the cells. That plasma is the in-between the blood and the lymph. Okay, so you need to focus on that, the spleen. Now, the thymus gland. The thymus gland matures the B cells into T cells. Those T cells go directly into the cells for cellular mediated immune responses. So you have a lot of different types of lymphocytes, macrophages, neutrophils, antibodies, antigens, all of these within the, lymphatic, within the lymphatic system, within the immune system. So those major lymphatic glands and lymphatic lymph nodes must be strengthened during detoxification. The thymus, the spleen, both being immune and lymphatic organs and glands. Taking care of not removing the, the lymph glands that you have still, like the tonsils, like the appendix, protecting and cleaning the spleen, protecting and cleaning the liver, protecting your lymph nodes. All that is essential. A good liver cleansing is always essential for people too, especially if you've taken so many antibiotics, you're harboring all that chemical toxicity in your liver, so you wanna drain all that out. Now, let's talk a little bit about so what specific fruits? Because beyond that, I can't really share much more when it comes to herbs. I'd really have to see your eyes and see what you need, right? So, like I was saying in the beginning, watermelons are in season. Watermelon 
will start to clean your body of this sulfur from the antibiotics. But watermelon is aggressive. I do not recommend people that haven't had experience with eating raw foods to start drinking a ton of watermelon juice because then you are going to become bedridden with a fever and cold and flu-like symptoms. Your whole body will be in pain because watermelon is aggressive. So how you want to do this is start eating some watermelon, start eating some fruits, start eating some salads, switch a diet to a vegan diet, eliminate the major offenders, follow transition into like an 80% raw diet. Then, if you're doing great with that, after a week or two, go to 100% raw. Mostly fruits, eating them, and having a salad or some raw vegetable, raw vegan meal at night. And then after that, you can start sipping on some watermelon juice. In the beginning, right away, people can start to drink raw orange juice, you know. I really just see people that are highly inflamed and acidic and toxic have reactions to watermelon juice. If you have a lot of sulfur because it starts to pull on that sulfur, sulfur is acidic, you can feel really sick as a detox symptom, okay? So take it gentle. So eat watermelon, eventually drink watermelon juice. Eat the grapes when they come into season. All your fruits should be organic. Organic is more powerful, has more nutritional content to it, and you're avoiding the harmful pesticides and neurotoxins from those foods. Berries are also great. Blueberries, raspberries, strawberries. They're very nourishing, very healing to the glands. Your adrenal glands are probably very majorly chronically weak. Everyone, I would say, from the age of 45 and under, 9 out of 10 of those people have chronic adrenals. That's what I see all the time. So, including berry smoothies, eating berries, eating grapes, going to heal your adrenal glands, right? People usually deal with lymphedema in these treatment-based ways. Even though they seem a little bit more natural, oh, they're not intrusive, right? Like doing um, occupational therapy or physical therapy, okay? Moves your lymph system, right? Great. Or they'll use compression socks or compression bandages to help with that swelling in their legs or their arms, okay, fine. But you see how those things don't address the root cause? Just putting on some compression bandages or just moving your body a little bit. It's not going to get your kidneys to filter all this lymphatic sewage. You see how it's treatment-based, even though it's kind of natural? Any tools that you use, you want it to work with detox. You don't want to be it to be the replacement of detox. So you're going to go on this protocol, right? If you're still with me and you're going to check to see if your kidneys are filtering you should check them at least I'd say a few times a week or if not once a week don't get too crazy with it but do check it you should be aware of when your kidneys are filtering right now if you pee in a clear jar just pee in a clear jar and hold it up to the light and see if you are eliminating your lymphatic sewage because it's just this sewage that's causing you all this inflammation, the burning, the pain, the swelling in your legs. All this is going to go away once you start to see those kidneys filtering. Once you start seeing the mucus in your urine or flakes or sewage or some sort of sediment or cloudiness, that's what you want to see. That means that your lymph system, your lymph vessels, your lymph nodes are starting to work and your kidneys are starting to filter. Like I said earlier in the video, Lymphedema can occur several different ways. Injury to the lymph nodes, removal of the lymph nodes and the lymph vessels, not being born with certain lymph nodes and lymph vessels, stagnation to the lymph system, sulfur medications, kidney weakness, kidney failure. If your kidneys are not filtering, it's going to look like clear urine. As long as it's clear, you're not going to be taking the steps necessary to heal this condition. So what you want to do is you want to turn on kidney filtration. The best way to turn on kidney filtration is to know your weaknesses. 
because several different organ and gland weaknesses influence kidney filtration. If you have an adrenal weakness, that can impair your kidneys to start to filter. The neurotransmitters in, within the adrenals control the kidneys to open up or not. The other glands in your body, like the pituitary that controls your adrenals and that controls all the other glands, if that's weak, that can impair kidney filtration. The gland above that, if the hypothalamus gland is weak, that is the master gland that controls the other master gland, the pituitary, that can impair kidney filtration. If you have enough acidosis and lymphatic stagnation within your kidneys, that can also impair kidney filtration. If your skin is so stagnant, so congested, and you can see that around your eyes, or you're, you're noticing like, wow, I don't sweat. It's hard for me to sweat or you get like itchiness or eczema or acne or anything like that, those are signs that your skin is backed up. So your kidney would have long been backed up because whatever the kidneys can't handle is sent to the skin, but you want the kidneys to handle most of the waste. So that's a sign, right? Emotions, if you're in fear, if you have doubtful thoughts, if you're constantly stressed, if your diet's not on point, your kidneys will not filter. So pretty much almost everything that you've been doing for all of your life, for most of your life, you're kind of gonna have to do a 180 and start doing the opposite of that in order to reverse this disease, okay? So with all that being said, know that your body really loves you. Your body wants you to heal. It wants you to start making those changes so that it can go forth in its healing. We see that in nature, in the way that we've been created already, how it has both structural defenses and chemical defenses how it responds with inflammation for the immune cells to go to that site or it responds with phagocytosis, gobbling up foreign matter and acidic wastes and pathogens, see? Structurally, we have this skin protecting us. Structurally, we have mucus that forms from the mucosa protecting the lungs and the bronchi, protecting the gastrointestinal tract, protecting the throat and the sinuses, all that is the lining of the mucosa. We have tears that help to shed any foreign particles from our eyes, keeping them away. We have enzymes within our saliva that keep toxicity, foreign matter, away. Structurally, that's all we have, right? From a chemical standpoint, we have the lymphocytes, we have enzymes, we have neutrophils, we have antigens and antibodies, we have all these different things. So know that once you narrow down to the focus on your lymph system, everything, everything, everything in your body starts to get better because all disease is created from simply the drowning, our cells drowning in toxic waste, which impairs its function. Turn all that around, health will be yours, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it provided enough information, enough inspiration for you to either get back into digging deep into your detox, keep going on your detox journey, or start your detox journey. Health is in your hands, you have the power. No matter what anyone tells you, no matter what you're hearing or seeing outside of you, from families and friends and the media and the news or the internet or even what you tell yourself, None of that's true. 
No? The truth is in here. And the very fact that you're on this video means that you know it's possible to heal. And I'm telling you it is. Okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found this information useful and you want to share it with someone that you feel needs this information to heal, then share it, give it a like. You can send it to your family members or friends. I'm here to help anyone out of their pain and suffering. And if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can go to our website at www.spirittropicalhealing.com and on the services tab, you'll find the different detox packages. I recommend the Master Your Health Detox Package because it brings everything you need to get started on your detox journey or to go more in depth with your detox journey. We get people of all kinds, people that are new to detox or people that are advanced into their detox journeys but need that extra help, you know? The Master Your Health Detox Package brings a consultation it brings uh, an iris analysis. I look and see your eyes for weaknesses. It brings the herbal protocol and diet plan based on your symptoms and your weaknesses in your eyes and in your health history. It's very in-depth. I and my team, we go very in-depth with all of the information that we gain from your case. And then we create the perfect healing protocol to get you out of your pain and suffering. And uh, you know, it also brings detoxification tools, detox tools specific to helping you improve your health condition, um, deepen your detox experience, or it helps, you know, calm down your detox symptoms. So there's a lot of information that is sent to you and discussed in the consultation with the Master Health Package. So that's the number one package I recommend. and it's really helped transform people's lives over the years. Like that package is perfect for transforming your life. We've helped thousands of people with that package. Now, if you want a more in-depth package to where you want to be held accountable, you want, um, you know, more consultations with detox support or, you know, um, emotional support, then the VIP package is perfect that you can find on my website as well. And so, yeah, I love you all. You can find all the information in the description box down below. You can find our website with the articles and the services. And I just hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I can't wait to speak to you all soon. So take care. Love you. Bye.